Hey guys, hello and welcome to Zen Innovations. And a few weeks back, I made a video regarding how and how not to mix batteries for your solar energy or any kind of inverter system. And on that video, guys, I got a lot of comments and a lot of you guys liked that video. So I am thankful for that. And one of the subscribers said that, sir, I want this video in English. So I said, well, why not? So here we go. So today's video is in English and guys, if you want to see the Hindi video, the video will be right here in the corner for you. So you can go ahead and check it out and I'll also put the links in description so you can check the video over there as well. Right. So mixing different kind of batteries is something which we come to say after a few years when we need to upgrade the system or one of the batteries goes bad and then we think like, well, I will have to mix these batteries to use what I have and salvage something, some kind of value from my old batteries. So that is it what we are going to talk in this video today. So let's start with what you should and what you should not do when mixing the batteries. So the first thing that you need to look at is the battery topology. Now what is battery topology? Now what you need to look for is, is the battery flooded or sealed? What is a flooded battery? So the flooded batteries are ones in which you can, you know, open those little caps and then you can put distilled water in them. I'll try putting a video over here somewhere so you can see what kind of caps and how they look. So this is how a flooded battery looks and over here this is how a sealed battery looks. So the differences are obvious and in the flooded batteries you can add distilled water so if uh, the water evaporates you can add in the new one and in the sealed batteries you cannot add any kind of water. So that is it what uh, the thing which came with battery it stays with the battery for the lifetime. So you should not mix flooded and sealed lead acid batteries because charge profiles of both of these are slightly different and the float voltages for sealed batteries are slightly less than flooded batteries so you should never mix them together. And guys the uh, thing that we are going to talk about today is regarding parallel batteries. I will make a separate video regarding series batteries because series is a far more uh, strict subject and series is far less tolerant to mixture of batteries compared to parallel. So the, all the tips that we are going to talk today is regarding parallel batteries. So the first thing was topology of batteries. Do not mix flooded or sealed lead acid batteries together. Now the next thing that you need to look for is the battery chemistry. What is battery chemistry? So uh, you know these batteries store their electrical energy in the form of chemical reactions and then when you need, to, uh, when you need the energy from them the reactions go back and then you get the energy from them. So this is how batteries work. Basically they are you know small chemical reactors and that is how they store the energy. Now you should not mix different chemistry batteries together. For example say if you have a lead acid battery over here you should not mix it with a lithium battery or some kind of different chemistry of battery for example a nickel cadmium battery, a lion battery, a lithium ion phosphate battery. So all these things are different uh, chemistries of batteries and you should not mix them together. So for example if your inverter has a lead acid battery you should attach an another only lead acid battery along with it. So you should not mix lead acid with lithium or whatever. So that is how battery chemistry works. The next thing that uh, we will talk about is the size of battery. Now this is something which uh, you know you I get a lot of questions from that sir I have an existing 150 AH battery but the 150 AH battery is not sufficient for my solar system and I, I need to add another 200 or 220 AH battery along with the 150 AH. So can we mix small and large batteries together? And the answer is yes. If you are careful and if you are following all the other rules which we talked about in this video then you can uh, within reasonable limits you can mix small and large batteries. Again, so mixing 150 AH battery with a 200 AH battery is within reasonable limits. But trying to mix say a 200 AH battery along with a very small 7 AH UPS battery or some kind of small bike battery is a foolish idea. Because what happens is that whenever you try to parallel these uh, small and big batteries together beyond reasonable limits, the kind of inrush current which the smaller batteries draw can be quite high and that could cause some trouble for the small battery and the small battery could go bad. So within reasonable limits, yes. So just use your common sense, you can mix small and big batteries. So the next thing which uh, comes, you know, a lot of comments which I get on this subject is can we mix new and old batteries. Now this is a bit of grey area and this is where again you will have to perform some testing. And the testing has been discussed in Q&A episode 4. So the Q&A episode 4 will be waiting over here for you guys. And the link will be there in description. So please go ahead and check out the Q&A episode 4 
and in that episode i have shown you how to you know check the health of the batteries and within reasonable limits if both the batteries are healthy say even if your old battery is healthy then you can mix it with a newer battery again this is not an ideal scenario but if you are trying to salvage something which you already have and then if the battery the older battery is working all right then you may as well add it uh, along with your newer battery bank so that is how guys you mix the you know the uh, different kind of batteries together now i'll give you a simple bonus tip that can you add the type of batteries depending on their application for example can you mix uh, inverter batteries along with sli or car batteries sli batteries are also known as start up lighting and ignition basically the kind of batteries which we have in our cars which help start the engine so technically now these batteries are flooded so even the inverter batteries the solar batteries are flooded they are lead acid even the car batteries are uh, flooded and they are lead acid so technically on paper yes you can mix them and by the way guys i have made some guides over here you can check them out and i've shown you how to you know recharge the dead car batteries using your inverter but over a long term if you are thinking to purchase car batteries to put in parallel with your inverter that would be a bad idea and i have made a dedicated video over here where i've explained to you that why you should not use uh, car batteries for your inverter and uh, there is this kind of difference between the deep cycle battery which is your inverter battery or you can say the tubular battery and over here we have the car battery so there is difference in the plates and everything and all of that was explained in this video over here so yes technically you can mix car and inverter batteries but i do not recommend that you mix deep cycle along with this sli or starting batteries because the life of your sli batteries might get affected due to this uh, uh, regular charging recharging cycle and the kind of deep discharge which we have using the solar energy systems so that is it for this video guys if you have any doubts let me know in comment section below and also let me know what kind of further videos you want to see on this topic take care and have a nice day